Hey guys, welcome back to another AQ3D video. In this one, we're checking out Mogloween. First and foremost, I did previously mention in another video about the collections. So you have the 2017 up to the 2023. There's also access to the Trove and several other locations. Now the Masquerade Ball, this is not a seasonal zone. You can get access to that all the time. So don't worry about the Masquerade Ball, but you do have these other locations. First of which is the Miscroft Town. Let's go check it out. This is still one of my favorite places in AQ3D. I love this place. Reminds me of like Tim Burton for some reason. So you have this little individual who has a candy shop with multiple different things in here, like the Boo Blue Skelly suit. And there's multiple different versions of that. The pumpkin blade, which is pretty darn nice and then you have an AQ World thing for those of you who like AQ World and want to look like an AQ World player. You've got a big giant anime styled head. So there is, yeah, a lot of different stuff. And some of these things are pretty darn cool. There's also these, which are just consumables. I don't really recommend using them since they only, oh, actually, never mind. They last for 20 minutes now. Okay, that's a lot longer than they used to. And then it was only five minutes before. This is the empty box of candy. You get 5,000, but in order to get that, it's right here. So that's basically you can buy your way to get access to most of these items. Another thing I like about this map is the fact that you're able to trick or treat. And then you either get a trick or a treat. If you do get a trick, it's going to be a bad guy spawn and you got to fight him. So yeah, Mayor McPumpkins with the pumpkin i mean the uh, past collections you get the trove access here and this is where your quests are so you'd be talking to him in town and then you'd have multiple different quests that you need to do in order to obtain the stuff for your collection and these are all different from different locations as well like this is from the dungeons that i can give an example of later and then this is the overall one once you've completed your entire thing so i'm still slowly working on it hopefully this is the year i complete it there are some mogloween pets some ghost pets a pink a green and a white ghostly concoction so these are the consumables. so they've adjusted the amount now they last for 20 instead of five Ooh, that's going to make it way better i have this one turns you blue and then there's one that turns you a white i can't demonstrate but i do have this so i can give you an example with this one in town you're also going to be finding this woman right here who has some more stuff that you can craft more different style things oh i don't know what the heck this was i don't really remember this one there's also a boss that spawns it either spawns in the cemetery which i love the cemetery look carefully and you're going to see little faces coming up look at those express things they open up and then just kind of fade away boss spawns down there it also spawns in two locations up here i think it's over there and then over there or something like that there's also a fishing place here where you can fish for different fish which you will need to do for the trove so that is something you would need to do over here is the trollenstein lab and for some reason there's this big giant look at this big giant arc archway instead of being over here it's over here it's been slightly moved i'm not sure how that happened you get a dr trollenstein with a small little cutscene. blah 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 we already said this but we have access to the lab equipment and this is where you're going to get the iron bat armor set and this is a really nice armor set i love the wings for this they look pretty good and then you've got the shoulders look at those shoulders and the helm i don't really care for the helm helm doesn't look that great but anyways it's a pretty neat pretty neat armor set that's the belt and then you have the mad scientist stuff which also comes with goggles you can have and you can also get this guy's face which is a drop and there are several other drops that you can obtain from the dungeon as well but i'll go over that in a separate video this is the back piece. And there are two different dungeons. This is the first one, which doesn't really give you much of anything. And then this one, which does, this gives you access to that helm. And there's a 
drop or two more, but I forget what they are offhand, but I'll cover that in a separate one. Next is Zorbank's Raveyard. And in this location, this is where you can get a drop of my, you know, the, the bird that I have on my shoulder? Well, you get that in this location dropped by one of the bosses that spawn. And I believe it's a 15 minute timer, 10 to 15 minute timer for the bosses in this area. And then there are some crafts. You can get the scythe blade, the Gordite scythe blade, which is pretty nice for those of you who like that sort of stuff and then this which is the one that i like because look at those little bats coming off of that thing that is pretty darn cool there's also a black cat tail i don't really remember this to be honest so if you want a black cat tail this is where you get it from and there are several drops in that location but i can go over the mogloween drops in a separate video and then there's the haunted house Currently, there is an issue with the outside of the house, so we can't get access to that right now, which is unfortunate because it does lock out a few different things, especially when it comes to the trove. There are some quests you can't do because it requires being in that map, but that will be coming once it gets fixed. There's currently a big hurricane not too far from the AE team, which is why we got this early. But in this haunted house, there are some crafts and quite a few different crafts that you can obtain with some really neat stuff like that. You've got a witch's hat and I didn't even know you could buy this stuff straight out. I had no idea you could do, you could do that. These also have stats, by the way, which I think is kind of cool. It scales the stats. Now the scaling in here is 46. So if you're above 46, it doesn't scale anymore, but that's pretty cool I, I like that anyways lots of witch stuff and then you get the spooky witch stuff and then witchy pumpkin i don't really remember what that looks like oh okay it's just a pumpkin version this is probably just a ghost ver oh green version okay and then those this is one of my favorite guns this is my broomstick and this is a nod to army of darkness but i didn't know the black cat paws were in there that's interesting in the pumpkin one, you have some more stuff like the Mogloween thing. Look at that, though. That's I like that. This is a pretty cool one. Grave Raider and Shield, which you will need for the Trove, the Grave Raider. You get the Pumpkin Sword, which is also another one. Look how big that is. Looks so cool. And then the Pumpkin Lord Armor Set. I won't show you the entire thing, but it is a nice armor set. You've got the entire armor set for that, so could be quite a bit of work to get all those you get the smashing pumpkin which is one oh no sorry no not this one that one looks kind of weird this one i like this one it's huge and then you get the pumpkin mancer armor set which is a full set of that including a scythe which is very very nice i also like the shadowed hood i think that looks pretty cool and then you've got the Manor Attire, which is a whole bunch, oh, not a whole bunch, but two different versions. You've got the Lord Skellybrow suit, and then the Lady Ragarleda, and she's got this gown. There are five dungeons in total, but four of them are pretty similar. And then you have the Spectral South Wing, which is a more difficult one. Also has a drop. This is where you get that bow, that Mogloween bow, is dropped in this dungeon. But as I said, I will cover the drops in a separate video. But I'd also like to apologize for this video being uploaded so late. But it had some complications. Also, I noticed in the background that that girl in the picture in the back is creepy. But that is it for this one. If you made it this far into the video, post a secret word candle into the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.